special when it comes to how regimented and on task and what a self-starter he is. And so uh, I always meet with the captains and we did had our end of the year meeting with all the captains and talked about, you know, who may be some future leader targets and uh, all of them said, you know, Aiden Canock would be a great candidate. And uh, for Aiden, he was so locked in on what he needed to do, the next evolution to take another step from a leadership standpoint was be to share that knowledge and put his arms around some other guys and help other guys in their development as, as well as his own. Um, and Spencer Strider talked about that as well. You know, he's a, they're very, very similar uh, thinkers. And, uh, and Spencer becoming Spencer Strider and the all-star and the, and the, you know, franchise type player is also thrust into a leadership role where his voice now carries more weight in that Braves locker room and talked about that and, um, and that's what those guys want. They want seeing that the best players are also the hardest workers. They want that voice to be heard uh, and so do the coaches. There are, un there are unsung heroes in this game uh, and in my opinion McClady gets that vote Sunday for the job that he done coming in after Crichton was ejected. Talk about his job, especially there at the plate on that RBI single with two strikes and the confidence that you had in him versus bringing in a pinch hitter to, to take his place in that moment. Yeah, it's been coming. He's been doing really good in our, every week in our inner squads and in our training. And, you know, it's just – it's been looking for the right opportunity to get him in there. And we ended up with a pretty set and consistent lineup with uh, the defensive positions and then platooning – Gerald and Naraki at DH, but McClady was like that next guy that he was just right on the cusp. And you could tell if we needed some kind of an outlier performance, he was a perfect candidate for it. And so the, the game rewarded him. He, he, you know, it doesn't always happen the way you want it to. Usually it's something bad has to happen in order for a guy to get that, an injury or an ejection in our case. But he jumped in there and gave us a huge lift. That RBI single was massive. Um, and he was just kind of, you could tell, you could see it coming, like that's the perfect spark that maybe that could have taken us, uh, you know, deliver in a big spot. If we would have got to game three, he would have been the first baseman. And, you know, and it's just, uh, it's awesome. Excited for him for next year. He, he didn't play much as a freshman, but he kept the positive attitude. And those are the kids you cheer for. They're easy to cheer for because they're just such hard workers, even when they don't get the reward of the playing time. I was looking at 2025, but your current roster, possible losing folks to the draft, who you signed, what are the pieces of the puzzle that you're looking to fulfill between now and the first day of classes, whether it be starting pitching, relief pitching power, or whatever? How do you look to 225 from here to them? Yeah, I think we just try to look at it objectively. And, you know, if Will Taylor signs, we'll lose 74 home runs off our current roster. Then between who we have on this year's team and absorbing some of those losses. For example, Tristan Bassetta could, you know, he went from seven home runs, could he go to 17? Could he add 10 more home runs? Could Jacob Darrell add 10 more home runs? Could, you know, is Jaron Purify and Andrew Chufo and Cam Canarella, are they gonna hit a few more? And Jack Crichton's certainly gonna go from zero to something. And so we'll need to absorb some within our current roster, but then we also may need to target some and bring in some of those home runs like we brought in guys like Alden Mathis and Andrew, uh, uh, Jacob Hinderleiter and Jimmy Overtop and um, and so you know and Chufo and so we we may need to look at that and we are looking at that so getting some power out of the portal is certainly a big a big area of focus for us um, you know maybe even a left-handed bat with power you know who doesn't who doesn't need that um, and then pitching you can never have enough pitching and that's the one part where you know, assuming Tristan Smith signed and Austin Gordon signed, that's a that's a that's a weekend starter and a premium 